passion. Uh, passion. Uh, well, film, naturally. Uh, I don't know, that's like a huge question. I, I don't even know if it's really a passion, it's more like a, it's kind of more of a lifestyle. <laughs> um, uh, I, I don't know, I, I don't really, like, uh, okay, so I was trying to explain this to someone today. It's like one of those things that's kind of been in the background. I don't even remember doing this, but my parents had Star Wars on tape, like all the original trilogy, and I broke all three tapes watching them when I was like little. Like I was like three or five, like I watched them so many times. Um, and then I did the same thing with like Jurassic Park and E.T. And I never really realized like that it was such a big part of my, like I was like a low key cinephile all my, my whole life, but I never really embraced it until I was like, 16 or 17 and I started doing making stuff uh, at home with my friends uh, like Troy who's in our class uh, you know we a bunch of our friends we started making these stupid little things like it started as like a school project our senior year and it just kind of evolved into like this little doofy thing that we do called the boiler report and I play like a super racist character and like I just get into ridiculous situations like the last one we did when I was like we were like 18, it was right after we came back from the first semester of college. It was like a Christmas special, and I have to save Christmas as this racist character. And like, it's basically like how he becomes like, a, he starts as like this asshole and he becomes like a, a decent human being. And like, I don't know, man, I, I, I don't remember a time where I didn't, I didn't love it. The favorite thing I've made is definitely the, the Christmas, the Boiler Report Christmas special, which is completely ridiculous and not very good, but we tried really hard. I have this tradition, like, I watch, like, It's a Wonderful Life on Christmas, and since we've made that, like, every Christmas, as soon, right before I watch It's a Wonderful Life, I watch that. Because it's just, like, it brings back, like, these incredible memories. I remember, what, like, on the second night, we were filming, like, the last scene, and it's me sitting on a bench uh, that we started the movie at, and uh, my character's ex-wife comes back after I've accidentally been complicit in her new husband's death. <laughs> it's a it's a ridiculous story, but it's funny. But it's a, it's actually like a really sweet ending. Somehow we managed to really nail that. Um, what happened was that night it poured rain and freezing. It was the middle. Of, it was December. It was December twenty third, and we were freezing cold. <laughs> and like I'm wearing like a Santa suit and a t shirt underneath and my jeans. And I'm soaked through. And on the way up the hill, my brother Aiden. He was, he's a little younger than we are, but he was our, like our on set, he was our set guy, like he just had all the props and everything. And he, I, I gave him my hat, the Santa hat, to hold that I had to wear in the last seat. <laughs> and he dropped it in a massive puddle. And we had no idea where the Santa hat was. So we're scouring this like street area, trying to find it. And finally, like one of, like a couple of our friends were like, we're not going out in that rain, fuck you guys. Like we've done enough at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go back down. To, I'm gonna go back to the parking lot, and I'm gonna like keep my eyes open. And I find the fucking hat, and it's soaked. And I'm like, I don't have to wear this. I don't have to wear it. And then I, I just like pulling it on my head, and I can just feel like my I'm losing hair, like it's freezing off, and pulling it off. But like, I don't know what it was. Like that's like a really great memory. And the on the feeling of actually working, and being with your friends and doing it is like, and making a movie is like, it's just that like kind of goofy feeling of like, this is ridiculous and fun and we're gonna have a great fucking time doing it. And that's, I can't really like, I'm sure like somebody else could tell a funnier story, but I personally like, I can't. So I, <laughs> I'd rather, I mean, it's like that general feeling of just joy in doing it and like sucking up, putting on the freezing cold hat and, and like it's just it was it's so much fun like I can't can't really imagine anything better actually than that feeling all right Connor what happened all right so uh, me and Lucas went to go shoot a thing for a super cool documentary about me and uh, doors got locked on us with all of our shit inside so uh, we had to cancel all the cool shots we were gonna do Lucas was gonna do, and uh, it's, uh, it's about the long and short of it.
good night. Stop recording.